Welcome to the Evan Michael Show. Ladies and gentlemen, thrilled to be here at the Peppermint Creek Theater, always a fantastic performing arts space. Mr. John Dale Smith. Good evening. Good to have you here. The world-class city man, doesn't they sound fantastic? Oh, yeah. These guys know how to do it. These guys know how to do it. We are very excited that this show is, is so presidential, John Dale. I mean, we're moving up in the world. I'm going to master impersonating the lesser known presidents. That way, when you hear the impersonation, you'll never know if I was right or if I was wrong. There is no way to fact check how good or bad my presidential impersonation is. For example. Mr. President, Mr. President, do you need a coat? No, no coat. For I, William Henry Harrison, Billy to my friends, shall revel for 137 pages on this glorious inaugural day in how my administration will forever shape the course of American political history. Yes, temperatures may be in the single digits, and the skies to the wet west look ominous, but I shall brave the elements the same way our people have braved each day. Oh, I really hope this doesn't come back to bite me in about 30 days. POTUS, as he is oh, known, God to yes. the Secret Service. Let's take a look. <laughs> yep, the president's gone. I missed him, and it's now cleanup time here on campus. You probably heard all the political bits of information you need to about the speech, but I leave you with these fun facts. The president of the United States loves the Spartans. I am also here uh, to do some scouting on my brackets. And he hates the fact that in college he had one of the messiest dorms around. Some students are even raising their own piglets on an organic farm. When I was in college, I lived in a pigsty. That's no joke, by the way. That's... Things you shouldn't do when the president visits, you should not make any gestures towards your ear, or fix your tie, or adjust your pocket square. Right. Or else that little red dot will show up and that's not from the camera. <laughs> that is what I got in trouble for. Don't reach to your pocket when Secret Service is there. <laughs> Our next group on The Evan Michaels Show, they are the foremost barbershop chorus in Lansing. After our show, they're gonna go, I think, perform at the White House with the president. I'm calling him right now backstage after that previous segment. In fact, they have performed all over the state and the country and internationally because Canada counts, boys. Canada counts international from organized quartets to tag singing to ensemble numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the capital city, Chordsman. Shoveling, shoveling down, rambling, heading for town, hustling and buzzing around, happily awaiting at station, looking number seven on nine, huffing and puffing and riding on time, who do you think's about to ride? The band they call the Dixieland Five, ra da da ra da da ra da 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 One last picture. We had to get one last picture, and thank you all for coming on. Our next gig, all of us together, we must travel to this man's home and perform there. A White House gig, what do you think? Sure. Let's all do it. Okay, good, good. And we could use your help, too, out in the audience. Tweet about it, Facebook it, like our page, spread the word. Let's get even more people to support the creative and the performing arts around mid-Michigan and the capital region. Lots more coming your way, including next week, a look at local theater in the vein of a very famous French Plus, the sultry jazz sounds of Sonny Wilkinson and Ron Newman. Thanks for watching the Evan Michael Show. Good night, Mid Michigan, and remember, variety truly is the spice of life. <laughs>